Sa tondo naman sa ikalawang sunod na araw, nagkasunog sa kalsada ng dagupan malapit sa Divisoria. Nasa apat na kong pamilya na wala ng tirahan. Apat sa sunog sa iba't ibang lungsod sa Metro Manila. At yan ang mga dadang pinsala. Sunod-sunod din ang sunog itong weekend sa Morione sa Tondo, Manila. Tatlong daang bahay ang nilamon ng sunog sa Barangay 1, 2, 3. Dalawang daang bahay naman ang nasunog sa Barangay 86 sa Kaloohan noong Sabado. Last year, we conducted a study on sodium silicate and gypsum for five roofing concrete. Sodium silicate is also known as water glass. It is composed of sodium oxide and silica. In the presence of fire, the sodium silicate will form foam-like crystals that help to provide an insulating barrier between the product and the flame. Thus, it can slow down the spread of fire. Gypsum is a mineral and non-combustible material composed of calcium sulfate and water or calcium sulfate dihydrate. Because of stored water, gypsum is a good fire protection building material wherein the water crystal vaporizes, actively slowing the spread of fire. Gypsum is also a recyclable material. It can always be reused because its chemical composition remains unchanged. It has no known adverse effect on health. So how did we do it? We combine cement, sand, gravel, and water using the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4 to obtain a desired strength, durability, and workability. We conducted a slump test to determine the degree of workability on our test samples. There are three types of test samples. First is a normal concrete block, second is a concrete block with sodium silicate, and third is a concrete block with sodium silicate and gypsum. We produce a total of 84 pieces of 4x8 cylindrical concrete blocks. Test samples were being cured for 28 days to develop strength and durability. After almost a month of waiting, the test samples are now ready for pre-compressive strength test. This test consists of applying a compressive action load to cylinders at a rate which is within the prescribed range until failure occurs. We use furnace and gale oven to perform the fire resistance test. We also gradually increase the temperature to avoid cracking on our test samples. After the test samples cool down, they are now subject for post-compressive strength test. This is the part where we determine if the additives were effective or not. A represents for concrete block while BCD represents for concrete block with sodium silicate and EFG for concrete block and sodium silicate plus gypsum. Room temperature also means that this was the result of the pre-compressive strength test. As you can see, EFG are extremely high compared to A, which means concrete block with sodium silicate and gypsum are effective. After heat was applied at 400 degrees Celsius, E, F, and G are still higher than A, which means that the additives were effective. But why B, C, and D are weaker than A? Because sodium silicate is not compatible when mixed in concrete mixture due to the properties the additive have aside from fireproofing. Sodium silicate is an accelerator. Therefore, when mixed in concrete mixture, it can result in fast drying of concrete. Gypsum, on the other hand, had the positive effect on the test samples. It increased the strength of the concrete compared to the normal concrete block, despite the fact that it is combined with sodium silicate. Recommendations the application of sodium silicate should be as coating to the concrete block because it has the capability to sip in through the voids that will serve as adhesive. Proper wearing of protective gear such as gloves and face masks is a must because sodium silicate might react to your skin and further research about the additives must be done because some of its properties might not be compatible with the components of the concrete mixture. Thank you so much for watching. Let's continue to save lives through innovation.